Welcome back guys to a new video. I am so sorry that I'm just so slow on making and posting videos. I don't know, I'm just feeling unmotivated into the direction of YouTube, but I'm at least here with a new video and I thought that for the laughs, we haven't done this in a while, we could look at bad tattoos. So I've done this before, as I said, <laughs> we looked at bad tattoos on subreddit. We could just look at some bad tattoos because you have been so good at submitting, submitting, <laughs> submitting beautiful tattoos that I have nothing to judge. <laughs> no, well, not really, but like also for the funsies and for not being so serious, we could just look at bad tattoos and trash them all together. So I guess without further ado, we can just go on reddit and let me find the subreddit on <laughs> bad tattoos so we are up here in bad tattoos subreddit and let's see what's going on oh my god it looks like somebody threw up on his arm what is this i was guessing a cop car but now it looks like a race car from a person who says they have all traditional and who hates the watercolor look this looks like the shittiest watercolor ever. It literally looks like someone just accidentally ripped half of the tattoo off of him. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like so overworked and the colors are terrible and there's like no sharpness to it whatsoever. And the tires are puny, puny tires. Look at those, look at the size of the tires. Why do people make such bad decisions? And sometimes it's just so weird for me that people who have horrible tattoos, like in every way, our tattoo looks bad, it's done badly, the execution is bad, same thing. Uh, and they think it's an awesome tattoo. Well, you know, you do you, you'd be happy about your tattoo, but if you're asking for my opinion, ugh. oh dear lord, dear lord, <laughs> quite literally. And the six pack abs. Look at those babies. Somebody put an effort there. The rest of it, eh, whatever. Like, let's just do a sketch. But the abs. I love how the beard just kind of looks like a part of his chest. And the armpit as well. Looks like a leech has sucked onto there. It's bad. Well, what did I expect? This is bad tattoos, but like. What's up with the cross and the arms? Like, either you do the whole arm or you do no arm. This is not an option. It looks like the Lego people's arm, that thing. That's what it looks like. A $300 tattoo special, dear God. Like, the colors are there, but boy, it is overworked. It doesn't look like Beetlejuice, but it looks like something and it's terrifying. So maybe you succeeded. I can't tell if it's the lips, the gums. What is this? Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Girlfriend's friend got this. Look at the line work. I don't even have to. I can already see, but come on, the shading as well is patchy. Why? Why? What? This is like a PSA to why you should look into a good tattoo artist before you get tattooed. Mm, it's so unsymmetric. Oh, that's like the biggest cringe for me when people get bad tattoos that are supposed to be symmetrical and they're not symmetrical. The line work is like off, way off. And this looks terrible. And I don't understand what the person was going for here. Like why is the shading done on the upper upper half? Then it's not done in the middle, it's done on the bottom again. Huh? I've seen this one time and time again. The Frying King. That shit red as fuck. Yeah, the Frying King. And the position of it as well. Not even, not even touching on the subject of how bad the tattoo is, but the positioning is not even in the center. <laughs> Looks like it was done with crayons. I can agree. But out of all of these that we've seen, this is actually good. I don't know why I'm not a fan of when 
like there's a tattoo and it has a background and that the background just ends like that with no lines. Does look like it was done with crayons though. Dough. Though. <laughs> but out of all of these that we've just seen, this is not the worst. <laughs> Oh, I love the face. Look at it. <laughs> oh, I can't even tell what's wrong with it. Like the eyes and the ears. I can't even tell. Like the face does not even look like it was supposed to be a puma or... Yeah, it looks like it was supposed to be a puma. The snake. Okay, yeah. But the puma. Oh, not even talking about how crusty the execution is, but the design of it. Oh my god. This could be a solid meme. This face could be a solid meme, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's even... Oh, this is more painful than anything else. Like when people are trying to do a cover-up of an existing bad tattoo and get an even worse tattoo on top of it. Like the, the tattoo that is in being covered up First of all, is not covered up whatsoever in the end result. In the first place, it's not even that bad. Like, yes, it's patchy and of course, yeah, whatever. But it's not even half as bad as the one that is on top of it. And I love how the, like, the bottom tattoo is more saturated than, one, than the one on the top. Like the new one. Who are these people that do this? First of all, the tattoo artists. Second of all, the people that think this is a good idea. The nose looks like a clown's nose, by the way. I can't even feel sorry for them. Like if you, because it's not like you just woke up and the tattoo was there. You had to go through a step-by-step -step process to decide to get that. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to find the person that does the, these tattoos and you're deciding on this person and you're deciding on the design and it's like it's not like oh the stencil was good and the drawing was good and the tattoo came out bad no like the stencil already says everything you need to know or don't need to know well this is interesting the tattoo artist believes they are the best in the area oh i've come across those many 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 times especially on the internet in the latvian webs where there was for a while this person that was doing tattoos and they were telling that they're the best and everyone on the internet was trashing them because the tattoos were more than bad and I could do a whole video on just lappy and bad tattoo artists because that would be a huge kind of diss and just exposing type of thing I don't know if I'm gonna do it maybe if there's a request for it because like Latvian bad tattoos, that's a next level of bad. You have to understand that. Yeah, but this tattoo is confusing in one place. The mouth looks like actually not bad. Like proportionally fine and good, but the rest of it, it's like, what am I looking at? Like why? Like it, it looks like the tattoo artist took some time on the mouth or started with the mouth and then the rest of it just said fuck it and just you know that's what it looks like this is not permanently tattooed on someone's face the finger <laughs> the finger oh like w having a bad tattoo somewhere on your body it's like fine you can hide it but on the face there is no going back. Why have one badly tattooed diamond when you can have two? <laughs> oh my god. Like the last one, this one, isn't as bad as this one. Like this looks like an, an ice cream cone. It does not look like a diamond. It has too many of those diamond thingies. So this is still bad, don't get me wrong, but this is even worse. And the placement of them is just so random. Hold up, what even is this? Try to figure out this mess of a tattoo. Yeah, I'm trying to. What even is this? What is this supposed to be? In the comments, tell me what is this. <laughs> Imagine you getting this tattoo to honor your family and it's the worst tattoo ever. It's like you telling your family that they're the worst family ever. 
That's what it translates to. I don't even know where to begin with because it's just so bad there's nothing to judge. It's just every single letter has a different thickness, a different font style. It's not even a font. Old high school buddy sent me this. Apparently one of our classmates became a tattoo artist after high school. This is atrocious. Where is this person? I want to just rip out their hair and tell them to never tattoo a person again. Like why? 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 This is this is like nightmare fuel. Not only the like how bad the tattoo is, but how horrible it looks. The imagery of it looks like it should be from a nightmare. It's why do you people do this to yourselves? It's hmm. <laughs> oh my god, no, this is actually so good. This is so good. I've never seen a take on Baby Yoda like this, but I love it. I love the eyes. I love the unibrow. Oh my god. <laughs> I love how his hand looks like duck's feet. Weird art group as a serious attempt of tattooing oneself was supposed to be a dagger through a butterfly. At least this is not gonna last. How the amount of how faint the tattoo is and how terribly scratchy it is. This this tattoo could be the definition of scratchy. Because it doesn't look like it's even in the skin, like after it heals, half of it is not even going to be there. So at least you're, you're like, it's that good. But I hope this person doesn't think that this is an invitation of them to become a tattoo artist. Like if you, if you did this and you took a picture of it thinking it's good, you need a reality check. Okay. I can't look at any of these anymore. Like for, for, for one, I, th I thought it was going to be funny, but then again, it's just like, it's a horror show right there. Like, like it's not even funny. It's a horror show. Ugh. I am just like, when you look at this, you become so grateful of your well done tattoos. So, oh, I love my tattoos. <laughs> I love how I did the right decisions and I just took the time and I never got a bad tattoo. Oh, I feel so blessed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. How matter, no matter how trashy it was. Um, yeah. So let me know if you like these types of videos. And I'm hoping to do a judging my viewers tattoos uh, video soon. So you can head on over to my subreddit and submit some beautiful tattoos on there. So I can erase this monstrosity from my head. What we just saw. And just look at your beautiful tattoos. So yeah, I think this is the end of the video and if you did like this horrible video, please leave me a like, subscribe and I'll see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye guys!